This video is going to be about DNA mutations. So um, there are five main mutations to talk about. In order of severity, frame shift mutations are the worst, followed by nonsense mutations, then missense mutations, and silent mutations. So um, a point mutation can be defined as a single nucleotide substitution, and those encompass the first three that we're going to talk about, silent, missense, and nonsense mutations. Just a little bit of vocab in case you get asked about this. A transition point mutation converts a purine to a purine or a pyrimidine to a pyrimidine, whereas a transversion converts a purine to a pyrimidine or vice versa. So a silent mutation is when um, the change in the residue does not result in a change in an amino acid. The reason that this is possible is because that there is redundancy built into the genetic code, and um, a lot of the uh, amino acids have multiple three nucleotide codon sequences that code for them. In particular, the third position is often what's different, um, and this is known as the wobble hypothesis with tRNA. A missense mutation is when you have a single change in amino acid, and then a nonsense mutation is when you change that um, codon to create a premature stop codon. And that's kind of bad, as you can imagine, because the resulting protein gets truncated and might not have any semblance of function. Uh, and then a frame shift mutation is different from a point mutation in that you're adding or subtracting a number of nucleotides n, where n is not divisible by 3, so n modulo 3 is not equal to 0. Uh, finally, splice site mutations um, are mutations in the regions of the genetic code that are supposed to be targeted by um, the splicing elements so that they're supposed to be cut out from mRNA. In particular, mRNA, when it's first made, has both introns and exons. Exons are the protein coding portions, and introns are usually like regulatory or etc. If you have a mutation in one of these sites, then you're, you might have a retained intron, and that can severely alter protein function.